what is up guys welcome to another episode of goalkeeper tip really quick if you guys missed out on that last episode go ahead click up here and get caught up guys in this episode we're going to be talking about positioning and how sometimes being in the right position can hurt you so make sure you sit back relax also don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter like and subscribe that'd be amazing let's do it all right guys so let's get into it i do have to apologize before we actually dive into this i didn't have time to get any gameplay i've just been really busy so i do apologize for that really i really do so anyways, um, I'm just, I just figured it, this would be more of a one-on-one -on -one and just answer a few questions that I received. So I got three questions for you guys that I thought I, I felt like I should share with. The first one is, do you release the LB button when the shot is taken? No, <laughs> I don't hold on to the LB button, but at the same time, yes and no, but mostly no. <laughs> I know that's confusing, but I'll, I'll explain. When the shot is taken, I release the LB button. I just feel I have more mobility. I have more freedom to move around. And and the reason why is when you hold on to the LB button, you're just you're just stuck to wherever that circle is at, right? So if the shot takes a deflection, it just it just takes a long time. I just feel I just have more freedom if I release the LB button. Now, sometimes when you especially if you're in manual mode, if you try to adjust yourself, you might be out of position. So hitting that LB button really quick just lines you up, puts you back into position and just let it go. So just really quick, let it go. And then you're back into the game. That would be my best tip for that situation. Again, like I said, yes and no, but mostly no. When a shot's taken, if you feel like you're in a good position, let go of it and you're ready to roll. And the second question was asked by a buddy of mine. He asked people would think the shots because of the little red circle not being there and the indicator being gone and whatnot. But to be honest, no, I haven't had any problems with this at all. My biggest weakness has to be crosses. I've had a little bit of trouble trying to read these crosses. And the reason why is that before there were these looping crosses that were just arc like a rainbow. Now they're more of a driven, driven cross that sometimes they go about waist high or they're just these driven crosses that go across the box. So they're really hard. You don't know if they're going first post, back post or in the center. Now, so far what I think would, would probably be best suited for this is try to read the little power bar. If the power bar hits over three, chances are it's going to go back post. Now, I would what I would do in that situation is just let go of that LB button, travel with the ball, and then just put yourself in the best position to make the save. That would be the best thing. And like I said, it's worked for me. And again, just that's been my biggest weakness so far. So I just got to get better at it. <laughs> Bottom line. And the third one and last is, I was asked, how do you feel about the new feature that they added in the goalkeeper position where you can turn your normal your normal kicks into counterattacking um, and what I mean about that is now by pressing RB and the, the X button on the Xbox you can turn your flat kick you can put it into space and potentially go on the counter so again I'm definitely gonna do a video about this just kind of breaking it down and just do it more into detail but again for right now if you press the R, RB button and you press the X it will send a flat kick Put it into space and hopefully your teammate can just run onto it and go on it on the counter the best thing about it is not only you can do it with your feet but you also you can do it with your hands you can use your hands to to distribute and put the ball into space and potentially go on the counter attack so this is a feature that i'm really excited about and i'm happy that they're starting to make these changes and these modifications to this position because i just think that they've ignored it for a while but like i said they are starting to make the changes necessary so i do i do feel that it's just going to get better. So I am happy for this shit. Really, I really am. And I can't wait. Hopefully in the VFL, I can get some assists. That is the goal. <laughs> so that is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Spread the word, guys. That would be amazing. And like always, keep watching, keep playing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.